I'm Lucy Fink, and this week is Five Days of Astrology. Hey guys, what's your sign? I'm a Leo. Roar. Okay, it's dictionary time. Astrology. It's the study of the movements and the positioning of stars and other celestial bodies as a way of influencing human life and our world on Earth. So, who better to consult with this week than the two people who have been feeding me my weekly horoscope on Refinery29.com. Hi, I'm Tali Adut. And I'm Ophi Adut. And we are the, the Astro, Astro Twins. Twins. I met with them this morning and they helped me plan my whole week ahead. We're going to start off with your birth chart. This is a map of where all the planets were at your exact moment of birth. It's very unique to you. It's your cosmic blueprint. Actually, only someone born in the same place and time as you will have this chart. There's a real sort of balancing act in your chart between being the leader and being a team player. But you are kind of weighted more toward taking charge and leading. So we thought a good challenge would be something where you had to take instruction, either maybe a choreographed dance or learning an instrument. Does either of those seem like they'd be a good challenge for you? Well, I know, I know a musician. I took the twins' advice and I scheduled a guitar and keyboard lesson with my older brother, Robbie. This seemed like the perfect challenge for me to put my weakness to the test because when it comes to playing an instrument that you don't know, there's really no way to fake it. Either you take direction and you're successful, or you don't and you fail. Do you want to play some stuff? Of course I do. That's why I came here. <laughs> Teach okay, me so to be a, a savant. First, I want you to take your hand and think about this. When I say one, that's going to be your pointer. Finger two is going to be your middle finger. Three is your ring finger and four is your pinky. I want you to push down on the third fret and then play the bottom four strings. That's a G major chord. And you got to be careful not to accidentally touch the high E string too. Cool. It was frustrating, it was challenging, Look at what's happening to my fingers. <laughs> this is pain right oh, yeah, here. Pain in there. But it was very, very rewarding. So if your sign suggests that you're bad at something, <laughs> practice it until you're good at it and prove your sign wrong. That's a wrap. So on Tuesday, let's work a little more with your Leo sun sign. Leos, you know, are known for being theatrical and showy, and we already know you're very comfortable on camera. But the thing that a lot of people don't know about Leo is that you're very magnanimous and noble. You're the gift givers. The twins really inspired me to add some generosity to my week, not for a birthday, not for a special occasion, but for no reason whatsoever. Over the holiday break, my parents took my entire family on a vacation to Palm Springs, California. I thanked my parents for this experience numerous times, but why not give them something a little bit extra as one more thank you? I found my favorite family photo from the trip. We're all lined up on off-road quads, holding hands and smiling. I printed the photo out in 8x10, and then I went to a local craft store and bought a pretty picture frame that matched it. As you know from 5 Days of Giving, I love surprising my parents, so I went over to their apartment today and I did it again. Here we go. It's coming out. Ready? Oh, nice. This is really nice. Oh, that's a good picture. Good family shot. Today's challenge was very inspiring to me personally because I've made the resolution across multiple New Year's to be a more generous and giving person. So today, I challenge you to do one tiny thing for someone else that's gonna make them really happy. Even if you're busy, find the time and make it happen. On Tuesday, we focused on your sun sign. So Wednesday, we're gonna go inward to your moon sign. The moon is your emotional nature. And your moon sign is in Libra, the sign of equality and harmony and partnership. So are you in a relationship? I am. Okay. Eight years. Of course. Well, that's very oh, Libra wow. moon, you know. Ooh. I know, a long time. Your challenge today, well, is there anything in your relationship that might be a little off balance? physical space maybe in our tight New York yeah. apartment. Oh, oh, you guys live together, yeah, for sure. Yeah, we just moved in together and if I'm visualizing our apartment right now, it's like 75% taken yeah. up by my stuff. <laughs> well, that's your challenge for Wednesday then. Even out the apartment. I moved in with my boyfriend this past summer and let me tell you, moving is hard. Finding space for everything 
is hard. And for me, being a girl means too much clothing. So I had an Ikea closet structure built in my bedroom to give me more space. And we tried to split the built-in closet in half, but my stuff has definitely been encroaching on his space. And not only that, but he has absolutely no room for his golf clubs, so they're currently set up in the middle of our living room. How romantic. So today I cleaned out our shared closet so that Michael has his half, and then I made some much needed space in our hallway closet for his golf clubs. Look, look how much room he has. I did a good job. Thursday, we're gonna focus on love and compatibility. Ooh. So we know you're in a relationship now. Uh, what sign is your boyfriend? He is a Cancer. So Leos and Cancers together tend to be really good caretakers. So I wonder if we could have you do a challenge where you maybe took care of a kid or an animal together. Do you have a, a friend who would let you borrow their kid or pet for the day? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Gotta think about this one. Yeah. So, we couldn't find any kids lying around, and Michael isn't a huge fan of pets. We really need to change that. But we did think of something else that the two of us could take care of together. Any guesses? A plant. It sounds trivial, but we've never actually had a living plant in this apartment, so that means we don't really know how to take care of one. And a little insider info from five days of DIY when I made myself indoor herbs, they all died. So I guess that green thumb I thought I had is actually not green. We started easy with a terrarium type mini garden of succulents. We handpicked each plant from the flower district and then put it together in the dish, putting pebbles on the top to make it really pretty. And we'll be sure to take on the very difficult and demanding task of watering it once every two weeks. You know, another thing I'm thinking is that Leo's a fire sign and Cancer is super domestic, so you could also try cooking together. Then we followed that advice too, and we made a nice meal together. This is some dream meat chain work. Living in New York City and working late hours, all we want to do when we get home is order dinner in or eat a bowl of cereal. But cooking saves you so much money, and it's so much fun. <gasps> so I'm reminding myself right now to cook. I want to talk about twins today because I told you guys I have a twin sister just like you. Yeah. And my twin obviously is a Leo, but she's a very different personality from me. She <laughs> hates being on camera, hates being in the spotlight. So how do you describe that? You guys were born with Mercury retrograde in your chart, as were we. So that can also give sometimes a tendency to shyness or holding back. So a good challenge would be like a little personality switch, a little Freaky Friday action, where you put her <laughs> in the spotlight and you kind of take a step back. I'm so excited about this day. Dream come true. Ever since we were young, my twin sister has been avoiding the spotlight. Today, I broke her out of her shell. I invited her to my apartment, set up my studio lights. Oh my goodness did a little bit of makeup on her, and we had a Fink family photo shoot. We're making her a star. No boy could touch this. Say, I'm Allie Fink, and I'm damn sexy. <laughs> okay, don't say it. Just, just, just smile like you know it. She's a Leo too, so deep down I know she secretly loves this, but I guess some people just need a little push. Gorgeous, you look so pretty. Look! I always get it right. She's a model. She's a damn model. Oh, are you happy? After taking the Astro Twins advice this week, I've really started to love astrology. The activities I tried made me feel challenged, inspired, and happy. And from now on, I'm going to let my horoscope influence my decisions, but of course, only in ways that will help me grow and better myself. Now I want to know, what's your sign and is your personality aligned with what astrology says it should be? Comment below sharing your astrological stories and as always, let me know what you want to see next time on Try Living with Lucy. Hey YouTube, thanks for watching 5 Days of Astrology featuring my twin sister, Allie Fink. Click here to watch another video on Refinery's channel, here to subscribe to Refinery29 on YouTube, and comment below if you think she's the prettiest person in the whole darn world. Oh, stop it.